You know that feeling when you get newly appointed into a role and you feel the urge to change things, and do better than the person before you? Well, it turns out most coaches feel that way too, and Christophe Galtier is one of them. This summer, he was appointed as the new PSG coach. Now, it's not that the previous coach Pochettino was bad or anything like that. After all, they did win the league. But with the amount of money the club spends, winning the league alone just doesn't cut it at PSG. They demand European dominance, and that's not something Pochettino seemed to be able to deliver. So in comes new coach Galtier, and well, let's just say he has no interest in getting fired like Pochettino, so he knows he has to get better results. And to get better results, he has to make a few changes at the club, including a few new signings. But aside from transfers, he has also made a few rules. Now, this isn't just to improve performances at the club, but he's also trying to improve the culture at the club, and here are some of them. For example, he introduced strict punishment for lateness to training. Yep, you see, at most clubs there's usually a fine for being late, but it seems Galtier has taken it a notch higher. That's right, because rather than giving you a fine for coming late, he just sends you back home. Of course, he would only do that if you're late without a good excuse, but again, who even knows what he would consider as a good excuse? Because most people may not consider certain excuses like oversleeping as a good one. So well, if you're a PSG player this season and you want to show up late, you're probably safer if you cook up a bizarre excuse like, my car was chased around town by a tag team of elephants and hippos. Of course, no one would believe your story and you'd still get sent home anyway, but at least you would have provided some real comic relief for the rest of the day. And that would be a pretty decent achievement, don't you agree? Now, one other rule he has made was regarding the way they eat meals. Yep, you see, football is a team sport. And when it comes to building a team, one thing you surely don't want in that team is the presence of cliques. But at PSG, well, there seems to be a few cliques within the squad. Unfortunately for Pochettino, he probably didn't see it as anything major, so he just let it slide. But since Galtier came in, he has quickly spotted the issue, and guess what? He has chosen to eliminate it. And one way he has chosen to solve the problem is by making his players eat together. Now, that may sound like a weird way to try and solve that problem, but it's actually not a bad thought. Because you see, during meals, it's easy for people to sit at a table with only people that they're friends with. And well, that's probably the easiest way to form cliques. Moving on, but still on the topic of food, he also made a new rule concerning what the players do during meals. And this one is probably the biggest. Now, you know what's an even bigger threat to team bonding than cliques? It's phones. Yes, mobile phones, like the one you're holding right now. And here's why we say so. Now, have you ever held your phone and logged into social media while eating? Well then, you must have noticed how easy it is to ignore everybody around you when you're doing that. No kidding, you could literally just sit there the whole time without any care or knowledge in the world about what's going on around you. And like we said, this is an even bigger threat than the cliques. Because at least when you have cliques, you still get to talk with teammates. But when you just sit there with your phone, you're talking to absolutely nobody. Good thing for Galtier is that he understands this, which is why he decided to ban the use of phones during meals. Now, in a team filled with star players earning huge wages, this may seem like a difficult rule to enforce. But guess what? They all follow the new rule. Well, or at least we've not heard of anyone who's broken it. So what this means for stars like Messi, Mbappe and Neymar is that during meals, they can't take random photos or make videos to post on social media. Well, unless that meal is eaten outside the training facility. Or perhaps they find a way to hide their phones while doing so. Now, we don't know what would happen if they break the rule and use their phones, but we don't think any of them want to find out firsthand, because surely nobody wants to be in the bad books of the new coach. Also, nobody wants to be on the receiving end of a tough punishment. For example, imagine being told to do 2,000 push-ups just for using your phone at lunch. Okay, that is a bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point, don't you? So it would just be a lot better to put the phone away and avoid any punishment, don't you agree? Now, all of these rules may seem a bit strict for these players, because after all, they are big names, millionaires. So, well, it wouldn't be surprising if a few of them opposed the rule. But surprisingly, they all seem to be happy with the rules and have been following all of them. And now, they are seeing the effects on the field as it has translated to better results. In their first league game of the season, they won by a massive margin, and somewhere in that game, Messi even scored a goal with a bicycle kick, which is something you don't see him do every day. But guess that's just what happens when you trust a coach who has a good plan. 
And well, we think the team is going to benefit a great deal from their new boss and his rules this season, especially in attack. And who knows, this might just be the season the club finally wins its first Champions League title. But that's just what we think. So what about you? What do you think of all this? And how do you think it'll affect their performances this season? Let us know in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it. And would you like to get even more cool videos like this one? Then hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications and you can be sure to catch up with the next one. See you next time. Bye bye.